I'm gonna end up having this block oversized. F-A-F-O. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. This is another episode of giving a K24 a second life. You have seen it, the condition of this block when I got it. All rusted out because of it was left out on the element for almost six months. Assessment on the uh, sleeve. Yesterday I started uh, honing this thing and I got video clips and everything. I just would like to share to you what happened from yesterday and why I gave up on it. That's zero. Middle. It's about six tenth or seven tenth. That's less than three. Less than one. I'm going to polish the uh, sleeve just a little bit just to get rid of all those uh, remnants that's still on there more like a race uh, concentration of the rust before I hit it with the stone and that is today's episode how to hone a cylinders I know some of you will be interested on how to do this it's not really that much I remember one of my subscribers was kind of hesitant to do this but uh, this is how I do it everyone is different I still have the uh, crankshaft still attached to it I didn't remove it because of I don't want all these parts laying around in my garage so the more I can keep it intact the better it is for me but what I did I put some uh, paper towels inside well, I will clean it eventually, but uh, if I can keep it clean as much as I can. All right. Uh, this one is still rough. Always check the condition and the flatness of your stone like this one here I found out that one is thinner than the two but I have a spare and I'm just going to uh, use this especially if your stone your honing stone is being used over and over multiple times so it's better to check I'm just gonna use a cutter pin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. some tension on it I think the, the corrosion did some damage on it already. Yeah. 
as you can see still have that corrosion uh, marks right there this one is really bad right here I'm not sure if I can send it like this just let it be yeah I was thinking about doing that just send it whatever happens happens how much material I have removed zero out that's two and a half this is what I'm gonna use it's two thousand this is the original piston this is just my quickest way of checking the cylinder bore make sure I'm still within the specs uh, OE is one and a half you're allowed up to two thousand I'll be just dropping the piston together with the uh, filler gauge or the filler tape and if I am able to pull it out it's no good for the number four same procedure hardly man I should not be uh, dropping it that far because it might get stuck all right this one it's good this one is good yeah only this one the number three yeah and this is the two and a half right there okay comes right up so I already know this one's got two and a half thousand uh, uh, side clearance piston 12 clearance it's almost like what I have on the G23 why I went too much in the process of trying to remove those uh, spots the corrosion spots yeah I kind of went overboard what do you guys think send it and find out <laughs> I have two choices it's either send it like this and F A F O or I can send it to a machine shop so they can oversize it just a concern of mine I did one time have a block oversize and strap a turbocharger on it uh, it's the uh, F23 block the one that I have shown you where the number one cylinder it's all cracked Since I am new to a K-series platform, I'm not sure how much this block can take some abuse. I'm not really going to put a whole lot of power on this. I'm going to stay below the radar of 400. If I can get like 350, I'm happy with it. Just like Miley here. I uh, went up to about 360. That's all I need. It, it's just perfect. I have no problem on the tires spinning and everything and also it's drivable i don't have to fight with the steering wheel and all that so uh yeah for some k-series owner if you could uh chime in yeah leave a comment if it's okay to have this thing oversized let me know and that will be nice and that will help me out as far as the decision making like i said earlier i was thinking about just send it <laughs> On this block, I was thinking of using Nippon Racing Turbo Piston. I want to give it a try again. And I really, really would like to test out that piston, which is this one. It's already tested. It's just that I need to get rid of that piston slap. I really don't want to go NA. Uh, you know me. Uh, 
I'm a boost person, so like I said, uh, boost is addicting, man. <laughs> uh, once you go boost, you'll never go back. <laughs> it will be nice if you guys could drop in uh, a comment and let me know how's your motor working out for you with the oversized uh, engine block. Uh, this is where I end this. Thank you all for watching. And man, I thought I could get this thing uh, fixed up, but man. All right. Bye, everyone. I'll see you guys.